Good morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just talking on my Instagram stories about postpartum hair loss. Oh, sorry. Can you guys see? Oh no, broken camera. Okay. I don't think it's fair to have to go through postpartum hair loss when you um, don't have a baby in your arms. Like you can't even see how bad it is. My hairdresser said three months after a stressful situation, hormone change, delivery, all that stuff, that you can lose your hair. She was doing my hair and she saw the regrowth. And I don't think it's fair having to deal with, like literally, I couldn't figure out why is my hair so weird? Why is it so weird? And then I realized, oh, I was pregnant, had the pregnancy hormones, injections, everything for 11 weeks. And for some reason, my hair totally decided to do the hair loss. She actually experienced it when she went through her divorce, which was just like a stressful situation. It wasn't delivery, but she had the same thing like three months after like this big, huge stressful part, um, losing your hair. And so anyways, got to talk to her about that and dealing with all of this. Anyways, good morning. I don't know why, but I want to talk about my crazy hair this morning. Okay, our construction zone. Phillip's my hero. He officially built my tower. This is why we don't vlog. We haven't been vlogging on a regular basis because of that air compressor. I hate the air compressor and the generator. It's so loud. I'm running away from it. And then the girls are watching Super Y to learn about words while I'm trying to keep them a little bit entertained because I didn't bring any crafts or anything today. T U V W X Y Z. You guys are so cute. Um, so, anyways, I gave an updated tour of everything of how it's been looking in this RV. You guys probably saw it last week, but if you haven't seen it, you can go over to my Instagram. Can you hear me? It is so loud. And go to my Instagram and um, check out the update because I gave a little secret on what's going on with the stairs. So if you want to know that secret, you can go over to my Instagram highlights and go check out the demo tour update. Philip, can we turn off the air compressor? All right. Hi. <sighs> we have to educate Philip on de-stressing through this, but the reason we get stuff done is because of his um, diligence and his stress level of, oh, this thing is annoying, because this thing was so annoying. This was already a shelf. This top part was a shelf, and it was brilliant, and you open it up, and you use all this space. Now all of this, can we turn the generator off? Sure. Just for a little bit so they can hear me. I wanna tell you, and it's hard to tell you when it's so loud. Oh, much better. Okay, so this top shelf was already a shelf and it had all this gorgeous space and it was super like usable. Now in here, this was a drawer. I think I've told you guys many times, but I still can't get over it. It was a drawer that ended here. All of this, was unused space because it was a drawer and the drawer like went you know to there or whatnot and so literally friends of mine that live in an RV were saying yeah the drawers are kind of annoying and it's small like I could probably fit like five of Phillips t-shirts in there versus this I have ample amount of room to put clothes I am all about minimizing my closet but let's be honest, I kind of like to get some new things once in a while. Mommy, Daddy, where is Brock? I mean, I feel like we're already weaning down enough where we are going from two master closets to one. So we both have to be able to share. And then all the drawers, we took the drawer faces off. Do we have them somewhere? We took the drawer faces off and we're gonna turn them into doors. So we're just gonna put hinges on them that we got from Habitat for Humanity and just be able to open it like a cupboard. <gasps> ah, thank you. You're welcome. Literally had to keep Philip from killing me this whole time of seriously, this project is annoying. Uh, we're never gonna Four leave. Four and a half hours of work to do something that was already done. I know. But Phillip's I like, love you. Phillip's like, we're never gonna leave because you keep doing all these projects. So now I'm actually going through the RV and trying to figure out which projects I'm gonna postpone and do later. There's a lot. Are you really? Yeah. You love me. I do love you. And it's gonna be super budget friendly so you'll see how we can do it as affordably as possible. Go you. And then, but I am not gonna lie, I'm gonna do it as affordably as possible with contact paper and spray paint and all that kind of stuff. But I am gonna upgrade things as we go so you can see 
how it can look on a super friendly budget mm. and you can see how it would look if you for example replace a light fixture and a couple things like that that i want to do or countertops like butcher block countertops aren't free they are very expensive they should be free but maybe when we're traveling we'll be able to find stuff on clearance let's just do the bare minimum now and well, then when, no, we're, on, then when no, we're on the road. No, don't you lie. Sometimes you're like, no, let's go all out and really make this thing look different. How? True. Yeah, sometimes you're I, like that. And then the next day no, you'll tell like, me. I, I feel like let's just Alex in. said the other day that I'm like Jekyll and Hyde. I feel like <laughs> that way, actually. Like, I, I legitimately understand what she says. Sometimes you're like, oh, this is awesome. This is amazing. And then sometimes you're like, oh, I'm done. Let's I, be I, done. I, I can see that. Okay, anyways, we're going to go put this inside. You want more oranges? No. How do we ask? Please. No, we say it in a nice sentence. Please. May I? May I have more? I want more. I want more oranges. Please. Please. Very good. Mama. Come on. Flames in your face. <gasps> How'd you get that? Where'd that come from? You made it. There's two benches. You're gonna go. Ow. I like this. And you Did hit you your bonk? head. That's a bonk. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, hugs and kisses. Oh, baby. Do a lot of cuddles in this house. Lots, oh. lots of cuddles. I love that when you things just said aren't house. our house. Well, this you is our house. house. Um, when things aren't going right and there's a lot of meltdowns and just a lot of struggles, we, if possible, will stop and we'll say, let's cuddle. Give me, some, give me some books and we cuddle and snuggle and literally hours, it lasts for hours of like all of a sudden it's like calm in the house again. Or, or you know my new thing that I just discovered? I remember reading in a book way long ago before we even were trying to have kids, maybe in college. And it was, honey. okay, at least she's laughing this time. Um, it was talking about putting on harp music, harp, like the harp, like the I instrument. Love my kids. So there's a Spotify playlist that I will play. I'm not kidding. I have done it five times now. And I feel like that's enough times for it to be like a fluke every single time. It's meltdowns. It's crying. It's everyone's so upset. I turn on that music within a minute. <laughs> Everyone is calm. I kid you not. I'm not like a huge fan of let's listen to like soft classical music, but I will listen to it every night at five o'clock if it's going to prevent sad meltdown. You know what I'm talking about, the little witching hour. <laughs> Callie, what you doing? Exploring. You're exploring. So I am just doing my sketches to start in each room so I can explain it a little better to fill up of things that I'm envisioning. I wanna surprise you guys, but you guys are kinda of like family, so I just tell family what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So this wall right here, I'm envisioning that to be like a brick. So the, the inspiration for my bathroom is for it to feel like an outside bathroom. And I know that's weird, but I just wanted to do something funky and unique since this is a small space. I'm not spending thousands of dollars res um, remodeling a bathroom or kitchen or your home. I get to do it on, on like so much less because you use cheaper materials in an RV. It's a smaller space. Less so, materials too. And less materials. So I feel like I can be a little more creative right now and then see, okay, Alex, maybe I totally don't like it and I like more like, 
you okay we're gonna go home i'm sorry let's go um i don't want you to say hi to them you don't want me to say hi to them okay i listen to her i'll talk to you in a minute can you just bring me my phone we're gonna test this out right now okay daddy will you grab me my phone really quick here you go Watch this be the one time it doesn't really work. Okay, ready? What are you doing? I'm gonna turn on Spotify. I don't and want Spotify. I don't Spotify. Heart music for sleeping. I don't want it. I know you don't want it, but I'm just gonna turn it on for just a little bit. Then it'll have, and then it'll just have two minutes to go. Yeah, just two minutes. Just two minutes. We'll listen to it for just a minute. <laughs> I want two minutes to go. I want two minutes song. Okay. Two minutes ago, I saw it. Oh, two minutes ago. Oh, ten minutes ago. That's your favorite song. Okay, we'll turn that on. But if everyone noticed, this isn't a super great example. But within a minute of me turning this on, the whining has stopped, and now we are calm. This is really not a great example, but you know, ex you kind of get what I'm saying. Put that one. This is our favorite song right now. Mm -hmm. The room had no ceiling or floor. Minutes ago, I met you. I'm with Mama. How do you do? I wanted to bring out the bells and fling out my arms and to sing out. disabled comments on any family channel any family channel so family channel that has kids and what they're trying to do and trying to clean up we are in total support of we are just very sad that we have not been able to interact with you guys on comments for those of you who've been following over on my Instagram and on Phillips know that we've been posting posts where we can have all of our comments there and so a lot of you were commenting about this kitchen from last week and how ideally this is my dream again i'm going to show you how to do this super affordably and then maybe later i will do more custom things as we might find things on clearance and stuff like that so <laughs> affordable but like redoing it right now it's free i'll take free first my dream would be to put in a two full top cabinet here so double here and then here I would actually rip it out and like to put open shelves above the microwave right now we might put a little mini microwave in there we might get rid of a microwave and try to live without and I'll let you know how crazy that might be but anyways so that would be my dream but right now we're just gonna keep it live with funky embrace the funky love the funky and then maybe at some point we will remodel that but right now we are just pedal to the metal getting on the road right look at that oh my gosh and you curved it oh my gosh see see you are handy he goes what do you think i am a carpenter i'm like yeah you're my handy man oh, thank you oh my gosh on the top too it looks beautiful that's gonna be painted and stunning gorgeous i love it i love it it's a good i love it for now. and it's really a uh, thick sturdy wood so we could actually do something here. So, okay, here's my question for you guys. If you can leave it in the comments below, if not, go over to my Instagram and we can comment over there. What can I do to this spot that's free? I want your advice of what to do here, but Somebody? something that's more free. One cabinet from Ikea is $300, so cabinets are expensive. What's up? Someone brilliantly commented, go to Habitat for Humanity, which we already did. Yeah. Oftentimes you can go there and get really, really inexpensive cabinets. What? A lot of them that people take out are not RV cabinets. No, it's very heavy. It's not the price, it's the weight. Right, when you're that's looking true. At that's why I say Ikea, because Ikea at least is lighter weight, but still one Ikea of this times two would be $300. And that's just a lot for right now. So they're gonna help me right here. 
but I kind of like it because I like how it ends right here so it's not like completely crazy it kind of feels like okay that's just is so anyways I don't like open shelving to nothing I think that's weird versus if it had a cabinet here and then from here to here was open shelving I think that would be pretty but anyways Mama, I see trees. you see trees no trees in the in the parking lot, but hopefully soon our view out here will just be trees and actually rolling green hills is my dream. So the last thing before we leave, I check all the rooms, all the spots where there's a slide and make sure that nothing is going to be in the way, that they will be able to close all the way without hitting anything. Mama, where? Imaginary friends. Becky and Sarah are imaginary friends. Well, Mimi made them up today. Aww. Who's Becky? Who's Sarah? Uh, no, 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 they're not Becky and Sarah. Oh, they're not Becky and Sarah? Becky and Sarah right here. Oh, Becky and Sarah. Who's taking Becky? Me. Okay. Who's well, taking Sarah? Let's put them in the car. Mama, get the glass. Go ahead, to the multiply. Good night, guys.